It seems that you've always known at, at a very instinctual soul level what your mission is in this life. Uh, and then as you evolved as a child, these ideas started to yes, uh, the, germinate. Yes, uh, the evolve. You see, many things was different now. Like okay. I said, you know, from little itself, there was this pull towards spirituality, but which I did do what I knew at that time. Mm -hmm. So at the age of uh, 14, something changed and um, some, some, from one day to the other, you know, it happened in, it was uh, April, I think, 1992. So one day to the other, you know, my life changed completely. Because before that, I was living a normal kid's life, you know, playing, watching TV, cartoon and everything with like, but there was always this spiritual, uh, has a, whenever I will go to school, I will make a must to stop by the temple to look at the statue of Lord Shiva. And I will go. <laughs> so when I come back, you know, also the same thing that was always there, you know, inside of me. And um, yeah, I, at the age of 14, you know, something few days before what I uh, will tell you later on, uh, there was a picture of a saint, but we have, you know, Sai Baba of Shirdi. And um, you see, at home, like I said to you, we were, my parents believe, but they were not religious. And they said, okay, you don't need to put the picture of God everywhere, you know. So, okay, fine. You can have only in the cupboard one little square, so you don't have clothes, anything. So here you can put wh whoever you want inside it and lock it. So that was <laughs> I would be doing my, my my prayer at that time. You know, I would like the incense and I will offer uh, some sweets or a chocolate or some resins, whatever there is, or a little bit of water to 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 all the gods which were inside you know krishna shiva mm -hmm. and every everybody was inside and there was also a small corner where that was allowed where we had a, a, a statue of durga mm -hmm. and lakshmi and uh, i think it was krishna also so that was allowed in a small corner outside so the one which was inside was a, a picture, first a picture of uh, Sai Baba of Shirdi, mm -hmm. the old man. And uh, so every night I will do incense before going to bed. So one day, one day, as I was sleeping, it was two o'clock in the morning, I wake up with a, there was something, a light was emanating from inside. So in my head, I said, mm -hmm. I didn't say, I said a big word. I said, <laughs> it's burning. Yes. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I said, my goodness, now my mom, uh, more than the cupboard burning, I was thinking my mom would get super angry and oh. I will go through afterwards. So I jump out of the bed, rush quickly to the, to the, to the cupboard, the, uh, and open because it was locked. I opened it quickly. And to my amazement, when I opened it, there was like a cool breeze and it was not burning. Hmm. It's just that around that saint, there was a speck, like a small dot of light was emanating, but very bright. And Guruji, I was... I had that. Sorry. No, no, I, 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 want, I wanted to ask you something because it's it's something, I mean, I've been studying um, the the lineage of, of Yogananda and Babaji and Autobiography of Yogi, and, and I've loved going down the Vedic philosophies and the yogic philosophies all my life. And I always love asking questions about, you know, the guru's journey, mm -hmm. uh, the yogi's journey, the master's journeys. And there are these miracles that are always around certain saints, yeah. uh, certain yogis. Um, and 
I mean, the, the very famous ones, obviously, are levitation or biolocation, like Baba G does very, very, very well, obviously, among other things, and manifestation instantly, and these kind of things. Your experience in this world, have you experienced anything like that from yeah, other gurus? That, uh, that can, will come later on. That's one of them. You know, that oh, all that started with with this part of uh, of of uh, of uh, yeah. has a. These little so that, hints, almost hints. I, I will say, you see, I would not call it miracle, firstly. I would mm -hmm. call it visiting mm -hmm. cards or grace. Okay. You know, because okay. this is the grace of, of, of God. You know, when you have to, when he calls somebody, you know, he make everything possible. So mm -hmm. when this happened, and I was so amazed and so, so wow, nice. So then I close it, and when it finished, then I went to sleep again. The next day when I woke up, it was, I thought it was a dream. I said, oh, wow, a wonderful dream I had. But there was something different from that. You know? mm. So that morning when I woke up, I have a different kind of uh, mentality was completely different. So something had changed inside. So I went to school and it was in high school at that time, you know, college, sorry. So I went to, to college and I was normal. Everything was fine. And I came back home. I saw my mom sitting and crying. I said, what happened to you? Why are you crying? I thought somebody died, you know, because she was in very big mm -hmm. tears. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, and, uh, so I went, uh, and I said, no, nobody died, but go inside. I said, I went inside the room. Everywhere, there was a manifestation of ash. And mm -hmm. it was manning so strongly, you know, and wonderful perfume. And my mom said, ah, you put it. I said, no, I didn't put anything. I didn't do anything, you know. I said, you clean everything, please. There was a little bit only, you know, like specked only, like, like if you look at it, you will think that it is mold only. So my mom said, no, clean. So we clean everything. She helped me. We clean everything nicely. She was calm. We went to, in spite, in spite uh, of cleaning everything nicely. So a few hours later, it was much more. So before you could see the picture, now you could not see at all the picture. It was completely covered with that ash. And it will hold on the on the on the glass, you know. They were not and everywhere was ash. Even on the small corner uh, tablet that I was saying, it was full with ash. And she became crazy and started crying and you know, hysteric a bit. <laughs> because nobody could understand, you know, it's not that there was somebody to tell you, ah, yeah, this is happening because of something. Nobody was there to tell you anything. So this was my journey. <laughs> and uh, she was crying and this manifestation happened. And in not only in my room, in her room, in the living room, everywhere. There was this ash coming from the ceiling, from the wall, from wherever, you know, so then we kept quiet. We told my auntie and we kept quiet for three days. It was quiet, you know, but they were getting more and more and more and more. And they're uh, coming. The ash uh, was coming more and more, you know. It's called okay. Vibhuti. Okay. Uh, okay. So my mom, there was a neighbor, an old lady, she was uh, sick. So <clears throat> my mom said, okay, listen, there's something happening, but please don't say to anybody. When you say that to somebody, it's more faster than anything, you know. Mm -hmm. So she said, please come, maybe you, that can help you. So she came, my mom gave some of the ash and she drank it and she was fine. And she went around and tell it to everybody. So a few days later, when I came back, there was a queue of people. I went to school and I went to, 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 to college and I came back. There was a queue of people want to go in my room and in the house to see this manifestation. And my mom was sitting there crying. 
pool, you know, I, <laughs> so this is how everything started, you know, and of course, then uh, one auntie came and said, sit down and meditate. So we, we sat down one night and meditate. And, and when I sat down and sit in meditation, I went into a deep meditation, which nowadays we call it Samadhi. You know, I didn't know at that time. Mm -hmm. I went into that state and I didn't come out for three days. And in that journey, uh, I visited many places, you know, many fairs, many other dimensions, whatever, for three days. But the shocking thing is that uh, the body was still warm. So it's not dead. Mm. So, so again, they were crying and all this. So when I came back, it was a completely different person. To watch the full video, click on the link below. And don't forget to subscribe.